Remind me, this is a cold cack and mac show today, isn't it? Isn't it just? Everybody, if you've probably noticed that snow in the sleet is on its way, because it's only three degrees. <sighs> so it's a very cold cack and mac show today. <sighs> and he doesn't like the heater on? I don't mind, but it'll make a noise like this. And you can't hear what we've got to say. No, no, because I like it turned up full. Burn the car out, and then turn it off, and then watch something, but it's too hot. You don't like heat. Hold on. <sighs> There's some... Something on the lens. There you go. Is that better? Can you see us now? Anyway, we wanted to do a follow-up to a video that we did the other day about has a salmon been caught? A salmond. Alex Salmond, the uh, wonderful Scottish... <laughs> rapist. <laughs> alleged, alleged rapist. Um, I was, do you know, he actually might be innocent. Possibly. And, and people are going to be, really? He's been accused of rape, like 14 charges of rape and sexual misconduct. Well, in, in the in the video, we actually said, why has it took him 10 years to yeah. go after him? Well, guess what? I noticed something the other day, because I was looking online, and uh, I've written in the book, whoa, hold on. Doesn't Alex Salmond have a show on Russia Today? Well, that is the reason why they can now go after him, because he's no mon longer in Parliament, so he's no longer protected by Parliament privilege. Oh, yeah! Uh, so they're probably going to go... Who else has got a, a show on RT? That creepy guy from uh, Woolwich that's married um, an Oriental woman. Oh, what's his name? He wears, like, a, a trilby hat. He's got a bit of a beard. Oh, I know what you mean. What's his name? Yeah, what's not his name? Correct. Who is he? Yeah, he's uh, quite outspoken. The name will come back to me. He appeared on one of those reality shows where he was licking the milk off the floor for Rula Lenska, and she was an actress in the 70s in the UK. Oh, what's his name? Really creepy guy. Anyway, they'll probably be after him. He used to be a politician. Hmm? So, yeah, no, no wonder um, Alex Salmon actually might be innocent. He might be an MP who's genuine. An MP yeah. who's not raped anybody. No, no, like I say, I... He's not, he's had enough I, I, I believe skirt. it's just because he's no longer protected by parliamentary privilege, that's why they've taken all this time to now go after him, because they can now. Maybe Corbyn and Theresa May will get uh, <laughs> a show on RT. <laughs> yeah, no. I can't for the life of me, because you know all our subscribers are going to go, yeah, yeah, that's his name, that's his name, I know who you are. Where's the trilby at? Married to an Oriental woman. <laughs> so, um, the other thing is, um, what's been going on with the yellow vest? It's been 11 weeks now. Well, yes, it will come to 12 in a few days' time. And, as, as last I checked, the, the terror police, because that's what they are, terror police, um, have killed 10 and severely injured a hundred, over 100, and t it total injured last time I checked, which was last week, not this week, uh, over 300. Right. And okay. they're just getting away with it because who are you going to report them to? Have you watched the videos? Yes. I was Again, I was on RT last night having a look at these different shows that British politicians are, uh, are doing there. No wonder they're being attacked. Um, and I came across uh, some videos that you don't see on Sky and the BBC online. I don't watch TV really. I go around a friend's house and watch it sometimes. But on RT's website, on uh, online, and their YouTube channel, it showed you all these videos of their video people that were filming, not yellow vests smashing the place up or graffiti and, and burning cars, but of people all dressed in black. Mm -hmm. And as you noticed, they've got like, these grey rucksacks on the back. They look like police issue. Yeah, and that's, that's so they can keep the helmet in there. And then when they need to go back to being cops, they just pull that helmet on, slap it on, stick a red armband on, and they're back to being cops. I mean, they were smashing uh, bus stops, the glass, they were spray painting, they were setting a light to cars, they were smashing car windows. This is, but this nobody is Macron. Would, I, I kept looking at the people with the yellow vests. There was one yellow vest with a, like a love heart planchette on the back, and, and some have got love hearts on here. So, and the police were chemical spraying the ones yeah. with the yellow vests and beating them with metal sticks and yeah. wooden batons and stuff right into submission and arresting them and dragging them off and they were stood there that the yellow vest lot weren't doing anything yeah but they were just watching from a distance while these guys that had their faces covered with his rucksacks on were doing all the smashing yeah 
and it's like it had nothing to do with the yellow vest people. Agent provocateurs, like I said all along. Does anybody notice that? But BBC apparently, they've got a D notice, you said. They, d they don't show stuff like this. So, um, I mean, I don't agree with protesting, but it's not going to end, is it? Because everybody's sick of governments, yeah. and they're sick of the lies. And, um, well, we're going to do a special, aren't we, yeah. on um, human rights, human lives. Well, <laughs> that in itself is going to be a and very we're, interesting we're gonna quench, We're going to question when we've warmed up about this. So, yeah, has anybody noticed what's really going on, especially in France? France in Paris. And Macron, of course, has given the okay for them to go around as agent provocateurs smashing things up to make it look like it's the yellow vest and then try and garner some, some, oh, look, these yellow vests, they're terrible. No, they're undercover police trying to make the yellow vests look terrible. So undercover police who are paid for by the, the so-called people that are forced to pay tax. Those that they beat up. Which is theft, are actually, this is all being set up by the French government. Yeah. And it'll be set up by other governments because they want you to comply. They, have they forgot that they're our servants? Yes. Because it seems that. Bollocks. Bollocks. <laughs> we just wanted to add something uh, onto the uh, last video. Because uh, I noticed something the other day while I was looking uh, at RT. And there's a newspaper called The Morning Star. Have you heard of it? No. Morning Star. I might send you the link Lucifer. later on. Lucifer. Pardon? Lucifer, The Morning Star. Is he? Oh, she. Oh, it. I thought it was a fallen angel. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is an addition to the Cack and Mac show. Um, I was looking at, as I say, I was looking at Russia Today online the other day. They've got some interesting stuff, much more interesting than the BBC. And um, it came out, and it's not come out in the uh, regular news, news or newspapers. You'd think it'd be all over the scrum and the Daily Fail <laughs> and the tell graph as he calls it. But um, it's regarding the Scripples poisoning, right? The RT have, have, um, have, bro have broadcast that it was a military doctor and his daughter that first attended the poisoning. What? I mean, <coughs> just by coincidence there was a military doctor there. I thought, yeah, what a coincidence! Wow! Right? And uh, the, our government lied to us. No, 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 come now. Uh, and the police lied to us that there was a sergeant that went there first and he became really ill. But actually, the colonel, her name is Alison McCourt. Yeah, with a young girl who was allegedly to be her daughter. Now, you can look this up, but you won't find it in the newspapers or on the BBC. No. Because they're just a bunch of liars because of this parent D notice. But yeah, fancy that. So, everybody, the police and the government really did lie to us. D notices need to, need to be removed from government. They, don't, they shouldn't have the ability to, to hide their evil doings, because that's all it's for. Oh, we don't want them knowing about that. Let's D notice it. Hmm.